that's like the whole Seth Rollins uh, rah-rah speech thing. I got so annoyed by wrestling internet for like two days where I'm like, can you guys shut up about this meeting? None of you were there. None of us know if it happened. All the details are still coming out. And then basically Jerry Lawler just blurts everything on some podcast, right? Like Lawler basically gave step-by-step step what that meeting was a couple days ago. He gave, well, he gave his interpretation of step-by-step step because again, you know, it's, you know, it's like politics, right? You know, you've got so many different transcriptions here and you're trying to like right. line them up next to each other here. Like what everybody said, cause you had Lawler's take, you had, Corey, oh, sure. you had his take, you had Corey Graves take. And then of course there's like the wild card, Hugo Savinovich, who got a call in the middle of the night from a mystery man, you know, like, um, it's just, yeah. I don't. I don't like the mystery men stuff. I feel like it's a little. It's a little weak sauce. I feel like we end up poking a lot of holes through the mystery men stuff. Yeah. But uh, but who knows? I mean, I think the attitudes are are entirely true. I think the attitudes were. I mean, listen. I I've been in this situation before. I was on a flight back from a Spike Lee movie that I shot for Netflix. It doesn't come out till summer 2020. I was freaking coming back from a Spike Lee movie and they rerouted my flight because we were like we were like on the tarmac for like two hours we're like why haven't we gotten off the plane they gave us some fuel trouble stuff they gave us some like random notes of what had happened to the plane and then I got rerouted and I had to go to the Middle East I was in like uh, I don't even know the place I'd have to literally look up where I was but I got rerouted to the Middle East then to Sweden and then to New York and then to LA Damn. So, like, I've had something very similar happen to me, and my first thought, because I'm a stupid American who's ignorant, my first thought in the back of my head was, is there something sketchy going on? Because, you know, that's how we think. We've seen too many movies, and we're afraid of that stuff. So, uh, I think the fact that Carl Anderson, some of these guys are like, is there something sketchy going on? We're, we're in Saudi Arabia, and the plane is down, and no one's giving us answers. You know, that's human. That's, I'm sure that's how a lot of us might react. Yeah, no, I I agree. I mean, my gut reaction was if I was told uh, to after six hours of uh, being on a flight and I was a wealthy American getting off, being forced into a, a Saudi hotel after you know, the, I'm not making up what happened two years ago in Saudi Arabia with MBS and how he shook down everybody there. You know, it, there was a precedent where I was like, I would be crapping my pants. You know, it does sound like everything has fallen out for the better, and it doesn't sound like there were any real issues. But there was, a, I mean, you know, you, you got AJ Styles on the record being like, my wife called me terrified crying thinking i was like held hostage you know so it's, it's yeah cool. yeah it's weird the whole and i'm you know just to be on the record the whole relationship with the saudis and putting on those shows it's uh it's an understandable business move but in general i'm not a fan of it yeah. um and it just feels weird so yeah um yeah i'm I, the crown jewel thing uh, i don't need to see a boxer fight a wrestler to try to raise money for it the capital of a giant organization. I'd rather see something with a real story that's been built with a guy or gal who's put in a decade of time and deserves that spot. But that's me. I really feel like come WrestleMania this year, Braun Strowman's opponent, or maybe at the next big Saudi show, is going to be an actual physical bear. I think we're going to regress back to that, and we're going to see Braun fight the... It's gonna be it's gonna be Shaq versus a circus bear versus like the big show in like a Getty costume. It's going to be ridiculous.